Howdy y'all, it's Jamie with another video. And today I'm gonna do something that's totally out of my comfort zone. And it's going to be a makeup tutorial. So I always said my channel is not gonna be for tutorials because I am not confident in my makeup skills and I just don't feel like I am as good as um, the beauty gurus that are already on YouTube. There's so many fabulous ones, some of my favorites. Um, in case you were interested in someone that you would like to follow are, of course, Carly Bible. I mentioned her in yesterday's video. I love Jeffree Star. I love Nicole Guerrero. But I know that sometimes I gotta get out of my comfort box a little bit. So that is what we're doing today. And I hope you guys enjoy uh, my little uh, small makeup tutorial. So I'm going today to take my baby to take his picture with Santa so I um, wanted to get a little bit glam so what I'm using right now is a tart shape tape in the color light and neutral and this is way lighter than my skin tone but I use this tight spot so if I get uh, pretty close here you guys can see that I have um, a lot of scarring from acne um, there's a lot of old scars here there's this fabulous little pimple here I mean, I'm always, I've always been riddled with bad acne, so it's like something I'm used to. So I basically developed a tactic to hiding at least like a lot of my problem areas. You cannot hide the bumpiness. You cannot hide like the pimples that decide to pop up, but at least you can hide the redness and you can feel just a, a little bit more confident with yourself because Oh, yeah, girl was never confident in her skin. So the first time I do my little blotches that you guys just saw, I blend them out into the skin until I don't really see blotches. You just take a damp beauty blender and you go ahead and just dab this all over the face. After I do that, yeah, I look kind of crazy right now. I go ahead and go in with foundation. And today's foundation that I'm using is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation. You guys have already seen a video of me using this. So I like to put it on the beauty blender directly and just tap it on where I put it on my face. I usually start with one half of my face. Um, if I do a crazy eyeshadow, I will start with the eyeshadow. Um, that way I don't ruin my foundation. But since I don't anticipate me doing anything too crazy today, I'm just gonna start with the foundation, if that makes sense. It's all about patience and it's all about the process. You know, don't try to rub things into your face. Don't try to be rough with your skin. Just, you know, be patient, enjoy it. Enjoy the transformation that you're trying to achieve. And Alrighty guys, next on the to-do list is going to be contour and I like to cream contour as well as um, use powder just because I'm the kind of person that I like to make sure my makeup stays on me and uh, that it lasts a long time and there's just a lot of things on my face that I'm very uncomfortable with so I will do a cream contour and what I'm going to use for cream contour is the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Deep um you're already noticing a trend here i love the tart shape tape for basically everything in life i love the thickness of it i love the way it works it's never done me wrong he's like one of my best friends when it comes to makeup he's just great and i like to contour my foreheads because i have foreheads that you can see from up in space never been comfortable with that forehead let me tell y'all it was a subject of a lot of ridicule my whole life. Optional for you guys, like y'all don't have to do all this. Like this is extra, but you know, I wanna, I wanna feel pretty today, so sue me. Um, okay, so now we're gonna use again <laughs> the Tarte Shape Tape um, concealer in the color medium this time, and this is just to put a little bit of highlight. So do a little bit just to get your features enhanced, you know. At least the maybe the bridge of your nose highlight a little your chins and a little bit on the bottom part of your foreheads here don't go up here because then you're just creating a bigger forehead than you don't need and because i am at an age where i do feel self-conscious of my under eyes i 
powder to bake the under eye. Just make sure that I don't get any fine lines or at least really bad fine lines. And go ahead and put that on and let it sit there for a little bit while I just blend the rest of this uh, highlighter on. And now that I'm done with the highlighter, I will take said powder and set other areas that I feel wrinkle a lot. So for me, it's not just the under eyes, but right here. I do have a lot of expression um, when I talk, when I laugh. I go in with the uh, Becca powder, and this is in the color Pink Haze. And I use this to set the rest of my face. And I just put it everywhere else that I didn't put the Laura Mercier powder. And then I'm pretty generous with it, you guys. Very generous. So then I go in with another brush, just like a little random fluffy brush, and just tap it in. Tap it in. Don't rub it in. Tap it in. And I just go ahead and tap, 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 tap. I leave my under eyes last. Okay, so next we're going in with the Shade and Light palette, and this is, um, if your palette don't look like this, then you obviously didn't like the product that much, but it is basically destroyed, so I'm sorry, I don't know the colors, I will just tell you which one it is in the pan that I'm using, and to contour, I'm going to use the lightest shade of brown. This uh, palette came out a while ago, like, I'm talking years ago, so... Um, definitely check it out. The best thing about it now is that you can get just a refill on a certain color. So I know that not everybody probably uses all the colors, so you don't have to buy the whole palette anymore. You can literally go online on Sephora and order the pan that you need. Um, you can't do that in stores though. If you go in stores, you would have to buy the whole palette itself but that's a nice little tidbit for you guys who are like, you know, I love the palette, but I feel like, you know, I only use two colors, three colors, and I don't wanna pay so much for the whole thing. Well, now you don't have to. So that's kind of nice that they did that. Just go over the parts that I did with the cream contour. The only difference is I do get under here and drag it down just so I don't look like I'm wearing a crazy mask. Have y'all seen that meme that it says, you know, hey, is it gonna be hot or cold? And then the response from Texas is, yeah. <laughs> we don't even know. Trust me, guys, we never know what's coming our direction when it comes to um, the temperatures. So for uh, the highlighting part, I use the orangey shade. And there she is. All right, on to the next. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with the Brow Last, and that's from Physician's Formula, and this is going to be for my eyebrows. Now you guys keep in mind, I'm not a professional, and eyebrows are literally for me the worst thing, the worst part when it comes to my makeup. I'm not gifted with it. My brows don't look like they are sisters. They don't look like they are even cousins. They look like they're people that belong on different ends of the hemisphere. Um, I think I've said that before. Very, very uh, thick. It looks very intimidating. Like I said, when you first get it, you probably will look at it and think, oh my gosh, I just wasted my money. Um, but I found it such a lifesaver. I really think it's so easy. So all I do, is literally fill in that gap that I had there because I don't have hair that likes to grow there. I don't know, my brows are strange. And drag it down. And then any excess product that I have, I just flick into the brow and that's it. There she is. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow off camera and I will be right back. So after I have basically done both brows, I let them sit there and I let them dry because if you guys try to go in and fix any little other thing, whether it's okay, I did less on one side than the other, you will basically just retake the product off. 
So trust me when I say, let it dry, forget about it for now. We're gonna go in with the Tartlet Toasted Palette today. Um, I said I wasn't gonna do anything crazy, but of course, after looking at some of the colors, I do get a little inspired. So, um, well, we are just gonna go in and start with the crease first. And for the crease, I'm gonna go in with Warmth, which is this color right here. I hope I'm showing you guys. I can't see what's going on in the camera. I'm so sorry. Put in there. I like to do it messy. I just put it all over the crease. I can get it on the lid. I can get it up on the brow bone. Eventually, the way I do it, it all comes together. I promise you guys, it's not gonna look too, too bad. Um, maybe to the professionals out there, they're cringing. They're like, oh my God, what is she doing? But that's okay. I've never been um, told that my makeup looks awful or maybe people are lying. I couldn't help it. I saw the color flame, which is this color right here, and now I'm freaking wanting to use it. So, this brush and see how we like this little bit of sparkle on the under lash line. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner and I'm using the Too Faced Sketch Marker. I think I've mentioned that this is no longer being made, but um, I think a good alternative would be the uh, Better Than Sex Eyeliner for those who are in the market for an eyeliner. So here we go. So the way I do my eyeliner is I start with this part, the, the main body of it, if you will. And I just draw a line. <laughs> um, there's no other way to really explain the process of putting on eyeliner. I'll go ahead and sketch where I want the wing. So I want it kind of like right there facing kind of towards the tail of my brow. And once I got it, I just bring her on in and connect it to the body that I had. I just find this the easiest way to do my eyeliner. So I'm gonna do the other eyeball and I'll be right back. Once I'm pretty happy with um, eyeshadow and eyeliner, I go back in to the brow, back with your physician's formula and to take it to use the spoolie, you just pull up. Um, when you're gonna get the product, you put the cap on and then you twist it and it'll take the wand out. But for the spoolie, you just pull up. And I brush through the front part of the hairs and take it off to make the brows look fluffy um, and more natural, basically. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz to fill in any gaps that I feel like I didn't get. And it's the really, really skinny one. I'm sorry if this makes some people cringe, but like I said, I'm not a pro. Um, now going back to the Tartlet uh, palette, and I'm gonna use the color Candle, and that's going to be my brow and um, inner corner uh, highlight. I love it because it's subtle. It's not something super crazy. And it just makes it look like you are a little more awake, like wait. It even makes your eyebrows look a little cleaner on the bottom side, because Lord knows I need to get those done. Whether that be America or the rest of the world. All right, so moving on, we're going to do mascara. And we're gonna go in with my favorites, I already mentioned in a previous video, the Better Than Sex Mascara. First things first, we're going to curl these super stick straight lashes that don't like to curl but we do it anyway because uh we need a little help in life we need to be a little lifted these lashes need jesus all righty we are curled up as best we can let's go ahead and get on with the product here you guys finally get to see this mascara in action what I do need to learn is how to not make faces while I do my makeup because we need to learn to stop making these weird faces. We're finally done with mascara. I always feel like it takes me a while to get it done. Like it's just a tedious uh, step. Alrighty, let's uh, move on with blush. And I'm using the classic blush. This is like a 10 color blush palette from BH Cosmetics. It is 
huge. It is one of the best purchases I have uh, made. I got them on sale. If you guys have never shopped BH Cosmetics, do so. Um, they have really good sales and I believe, I couldn't remember how much I paid for these. I got these like two years ago or something and um, they don't have names. I don't think, no, they don't have names. So I'm just gonna point to what I'm gonna use. And I think I'm gonna go in with this one here. These blushes are highly pigmented. So tap that excess off, promise you guys. You're gonna hate your lives if you don't tap that excess off and you end up looking like a very bright clown that you can't diffuse. One, two, highlighter. And today's highlighter, I'm gonna use um, the Becca Light Chaser Highlighter, and this one is in the color Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini. It's one of those like duo chromey highlighters, um, but this one's more for me, a little more natural, a little more subtle. Let me find a brush, and I just love what it does on my face. I'm about to show you guys. So, um, where I apply my highlighter is basically like before the cheekbone right here, and I just put it up. And I stop right there at the tail of the brow. Now, I'm a highlighter person. I do love highlighter. Even if I have all this acne and all that, I don't care. I will always use highlighter. I know it's not makeup that's causing my skin issues. I've had skin issues my whole life since before makeup even. I would show you guys what I'm gonna do for lips, but I am going to go and drink me one of my little energy drinks because I didn't get a nap in today and baby hasn't been feeling too good. So I've been just really stressed out about him being a little sickety dickety, but um, he's actually doing well today. So I'm really happy because last thing we needed was him to look like death and despair for his pictures. And we have to get these pictures in by this week because I am going on a trip on Saturday. So I am running out of time here. I haven't even started packing. I haven't done anything for it. Y'all, I'm like the queen of procrastination when it comes to trips. I will literally pack sometimes on the day of my flight. Yeah, I know, it's terrible. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, random tutorial. And if you guys wanna see more, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe in whichever corner it is on and you will see a little pink button. Like this video and see you in the next one, guys. Bye.